I'm now going to introduce you to the orthographic views. And what they are, are views that don't incorporate perspective. So as you move things into the, the distance, into the background, they don't get any smaller, which for 3D modeling is really useful. So in order to get to those views, there are two ways of doing it. You can either click on this icon here, um, which will take you to the, the four view, or you can tap your spacebar, assuming that um, you've got all the default Maya settings and you've not changed anything. So I'm just gonna tap the spacebar once with my mouse pointer, making sure it's in this view somewhere. And that will take me to this um, four view. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my mouse in each of these doodars, each of these views, and I'm just gonna press four to turn on wireframe so that I can see the grid behind a little more clearly. And then I'm just going to see if I can line this up any, any better. So I'm gonna choose my front view and once my, my pointer's in this view, I'm just going to tap spacebar and that will just make that full screen and actually I'm pretty close already there's not much closer I can get it so I'm quite happy with that so I'm already pretty much on the ground but the best way to make sure that you've got it exactly on the ground is just with basic maths so we know that the cube we've created is 10 units high and we created it at zero 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 so to make sure that we move it up exactly uh, the right height to be in line with the floor we just need to move it up five units on y so where it says translate y you can see i'm actually very close to what i wanted it should just be five exactly and that now is perfectly in line with the bottom of the grid 